Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. Pray that you will take this and share it out on your social media because what you're going to hear today, as well as every other briefing, is hopefully helping your faith to increase in the fact that Jesus Christ is coming soon. But you sharing it to other people will help them to be able to draw near to the Lord. And if they need to know the Lord as their Savior, if they're not born again, this is the time to do it. We're living in those perilous times. There's no doubt about it. And some of what I want to share to you today is about that and the hope that we have in Christ. This article reads, after this is just this past weekend now, after 40 rocket launches from Lebanon in uh, to Israel on Sunday morning, the IDF, uh, drops leaflets advising the Lebanese residents to evacuate. You're looking at a imminent Hezbollah uh, war with Israel. There is no doubt about it. And just in the past uh, few hours, over the past weekend, of course, we have seen that former President Trump has had a second attempt of assassination upon his life. This is unprecedented in our particular lifetime, and certainly uh, there was the protection that was needed for him, and thank God for that. But I can tell you that uh, the forces of evil are without a doubt uh, pushing harder and harder. And as we see this second attempt, uh, what is it that they don't want him to be able to accomplish? What is it uh, that in the minds of people that do not want him to be elected as the president, uh, what, what's going on with that? Is it just uh, far extreme individuals that have lost their minds that are coming to try to do harm to him? Or is there a consortium that's taking place, even among the media, that continues to write it off as uh, just bad rhetoric? My friends, this is just another sign, there's no doubt, that violence would uh, hit our land prior to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if that isn't enough, this past weekend, Pope Francis said that all religions uh, are a path to reach God. All religions are a path to reach God. What does that mean? Are we all going to the same God? Is Islam and the God of the Jews or the God of the Christians the same? Uh, I can tell you that kind of uh, homogenizing of thought and religion that the Pope has been saying for a number of years is nothing short of the very spirit of Antichrist that is coming upon this world in a one-world religion to bring all up underneath one banner. And then uh, many times when things happen, it's just kind of written off and forgotten, especially when it happens to Christians. But the Seattle pastor who was arrested for reading the Bible uh, has now received the monetary damages and a court victory just because he was reading the Bible on the street corner. Thank God for that. Well, when many of you may be listening to this briefing, uh, you might hear uh, or you might have the concept that these Bible prophecy teachers and preachers are just nothing more than pessimists. Uh, the doom and gloomers that come along just to tell us uh, all of the bad that's taking place. And uh, certainly the Bible tells us about the difficult times that would surround the imminent appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, before the rapture takes place. In fact, the pre-tribulation rapture uh, of believers, the Bible lets us know, is certainly a rescue, uh, a snatching off of this earth, the rapture, before the worst of the times come. But that does not mean that Christians would be exempt in these last days prior to that return of Jesus Christ in the rapture, uh, somehow uh, exempting us from the things that are taking place. The Bible is clear. Jesus described the last days as uh, like a woman travailing in birth, labor pains, if you will. Now, the expectant mother uh, would not be considering the labor that she's going to go through it is an expectation of the birth of the child that would bring joy. But between then and that time, there would be labor. There would be a difficult season. He's likening that to the times that would be prior to the coming of the Lord. Christians are expectant people. We're expecting the return of Jesus Christ. But I can tell you, the Bible is running uh, in sync, of course, with what's happening in our world today, only in the Bible can you find the description of what's happening, of the natural disasters, the deterioration of moral values, and the perilous times the Bible speaks of that would come. And it's happening right now. There's not one thing uh, that has to happen before Jesus Christ could come back in the rapture of the church. It is a signless event, as we've told you before. But what I want to tell you today, with all of these signs and things that are happening all around us and just the few things that I've shared with you today, 
from these articles. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 41 and 10, which happens to be one of my favorite passages of Scripture, Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. There is no doubt that we are in and will be continuing to move. In fact, uh, another article that I, if I had time to share with you in depth, lets us know that even Ukraine is asking for the ability to use long-range missiles to bomb into Russia. That is setting up what you've been hearing about, as some would call it rhetoric, World War III, a nuclear fallout. My friends, this is a time that we need to trust the Lord like we never have. And a, a passage of Scripture that is hidden many times in the very small book of Nahum, in Nahum 1 and 7, it says this, The Lord is good a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who take refuge in him. Here's the question. Are you taking refuge in the Lord? Have you put your confidence and your faith in him to the degree that you've accepted him as your savior, your Lord, and your soon coming king? If you haven't, now's the time to do it. There is no doubt. All that's taking place in our world is pointing toward that next great event, the rapture of the church. I would encourage you, to get ready, and those that you have influence with, to give them the gospel as quickly as you can, because things are certainly wrapping up, and we know the end of the age is upon us. I also want to share with you that you can go online to paceassembly.org and to the Pace Assembly app and be able to watch the totality of the Prophecy Files conference from just this past weekend. I'm sure that you will find it not only uh, interesting just to hear it, but the in-depth that came with each one of our speakers is certainly something you'll want to go back and listen to over and over again. I encourage you to do that. You can find the Prophecy Files Conference at paceassembly.org or on the Pace Assembly app. Check it out. Till the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.